is that a fire hazard when you're close to your forge with those glowing embers? <laughs> Have you ever smelt smoke coming from your beard? Yes, yes, yes. Whenever you smell something stupid burning, it's usually me. <laughs> And I've managed to set either part of my clothing alight or my beard alight or whatever else. I don't bother trimming it. It just gets burnt off regularly. <laughs> Usually it's get out here at about seven in the morning, have a cup of coffee, sort out what we're doing for the day and what we've got coming in and what's happening going ahead. Um, Graham will usually work on the fabrication side of things in that part of the workshop. Um, he'll have gates or fences or whatever else to build. If I've got blacksmithing jobs that are on, um, it's usually draw out the scrolls on the bench or the pattern I'm trying to make, mm -hmm. uh, work out what material I need, go and cut that up, stack that up next to the forge, um, light the forge up, start hammering away and making the different bits and pieces I want to make, try and get as much done as I possibly can of the hot work um, before I then go on and start cutting it down and modifying it and whatever to put it into the gate or the panel or whatever I'm making. Can you make me a sword? A sword? Yes. Would there be laws against that? I can make you any sort of swords you want. It's going to take about six months. It'll cost you about $5,000. Do you want one now? Kill someone now or do you want to leave it for a little while? Why does a sword take so long? Um, depending on where you start from and the material you start with. I mean, I used to <laughs> take along a block of steel that was about 40 by 40 by 75 long which would weigh in at about three and a bit pounds, which is about the correct weight for a good sword. Yeah. And someone would say, oh, I want to make a sword. So you'd hand them this block of seal and say, away you go. Wow. <laughs> so when you see movies like um, Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood, mm -hmm. uh, or Knight's Tale, yep. uh, or anything like that, does your mind calculate things? Uh, what, what goes through your mind when you're looking at the swords and the, the, uh, the chain mail? Uh, chain mail is a completely different That's, field altogether. You don't touch. Uh, most okay. of the time on the movies, you look at it and I'm going, ah, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> but it doing looks good wrong? on the movie. Doing what wrong? Oh, you... Just their whole techniques they show and all of the other stuff they show on the movies. Is... When they're making swords? Yeah, it's inevitably wrong. So what's the big, what, ruin movies for us. What, what do we see in the blacksmith in uh, a uh, Sherwood Forest movie that would be wrong? Oh, they will pull a piece of metal out of the fire, quench it in the bucket, and then start hitting it. I'm guessing Sing. you hit first and then uh, quench? You hit it a lot first and you don't <laughs> quench it, especially not if it's a high carbon steel. <laughs> because that would... It would go ping, crack and break.